Good evening. Uh, welcome to the select board meeting on December 6, 2016. We are meeting tonight, so Trevor can go to other meetings on tomorrow <laughs> night, which is fine. Thank you. <laughs> no. So it's a little confusing. This is Tuesday night, but um, first item on the agenda is minutes from previous meetings. Uh, we have the second part of November 16th mm -hmm. and November 29th. Do you, feel Did you have a chance to look at them or anybody? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you ask for one? Yes. Oh, I was, <laughs> that's, that's I was okay. reading again. Uh, <laughs> I, I move that we accept the minutes of uh, November 16th. The second part of November 16th, because we've already done November one part. And, then the and November 29th. Yep. Okay. Uh, second. Oh, man. Wait. First, I can put down the motion. <laughs> I was reading it. I know, but then I, I forgot. Um, Trevor, second. Okay. If I don't write it down, we move on and yeah, I, I hear you. messed up. So, okay. Um, if there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Great. Thank you, guys. Um, actually, I just had a couple of things I wanted to say. Um, congratulations to the Frontier Girls Volleyball Team Division Three Western Mass Champions. I think nice. that's absolutely wonderful. Congratulations. Um, we, we hear all the wonderful things that all the athletes do every year, and we sometimes forget. So I, I just want to mention that you know congratulations but also just mention how wonderful it is and that it just didn't happen it was a mm -hmm. huge amount of dedication showing up and working hard and um i just want to say thank you we really mm -hmm. do appreciate that and um as well as every other team mm -hmm. um we kind of get spoiled down here we hear about how wonderful they are every yes. year and all the different ones that bring championships home and like i said I just appreciate the hard work. Great commitment. Good job. Um, well, I have to say we had an unsuccessful search for our town administrator. Um, so we will be going out again, probably after the holidays. It's not worth doing right now because it's Christmas, almost Christmas, but we'll do it in January and we'll try again. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to say the Stillwater Bridge um, is working. I have been over it many, many a time already. Uh, but we will be posting it for two axles at 17 tons, three axles for 21 tons, and five axles for 25 tons. We got the letter from DOT, um, and Kip very kindly just explained to me that means that we can do sanders and buses and all that kind of stuff. And we will post so that we will be in compliance uh, and we will enforce uh, those weight limits so that we will not be penalized with any fund federal funding. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to say thank you very much to Bruce St. Peter's. Um, everybody's been chipping in, trying to make sure that we function. And uh, Bruce came in on his own mm -hmm. and went to the vault and very smartly looked at the years where we had the least amount of activity, narrowed it down, and went to town and found out that we um, do not need to have a town meeting uh, vote because we had one in 2004 that gives the authority to the select board to set permits and um, fees, which is what Dick needed to get done. So, and it was done uh, in 2004. So not only did he save us the time and hassle of um, a special town meeting in January, but it was like $2,500 to run yeah. a special town meeting. So we can postpone it for later in the spring when we have more things or actually do it just before our annual town meeting. So, mm -hmm. um, Bruce, that's absolutely fabulous. I mm -hmm. want to say thank you very much for doing that work on your own. I mean, just on your own, you came up and did that. Um, and, Kip, I was just wondering, um, did you have the final tallies on the um, Deerfield Elementary School roof? Did you have come together on that yet? Yes. Okay. Would but you I like? I have the numbers. Oh, okay. Well, I. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't no, bring them. I no, didn't. no, no. I was wanted Kip to announce how wonderful, much money that we saved, and what a well, wonderful what I, job what I was don't done. Have what I wanted to do this all at once is I wanted to have what the original uh, cost was mm -hmm. that went out to bid, 
and I don't have that figure, but I okay. do have the I do have the final cost of it. Okay. Um, no, we can wait. I mean, we can do it next weekend. Okay. I mean, next I weekend. Next week. I, I, um, I just wanted to um, make sure that you got wonderful kudos for that, mm -hmm. and that Absolutely. we have right. we have a beautiful roof, and there was a lot of work done by you and Dick in particular, and um, I'm really thankful because. We, well, it all we, worked out well. So. Yeah, but it was it's it's safer. It's a w less of a weight load, which in my mind was substantially. I mean, I was. We'd be worrying about every damn snowflake, seriously. Right. I mean, you know, in the original design, because it was only an ounce and a half away from mm -hmm. the code. So, this is a lighter roof. Um, the it's triple laminate, so there was substantial difference in the shingles. I, I couldn't believe the difference when I saw them, mm -hmm. and it looks beautiful, yep. and it costs sure less. Does. Sure does. So it was great. Yep. So anyway, we just need to talk about that. Yep. Um, and we do have openings on town boards. Uh, Bruce, again, Bruce St. Peter's had run a list, and um, we're checking it uh, on what we have in our office. Uh, there are like personnel committee, um, there's a zone alternate for zoning board, there's conservation um, commission opening, and um, but we are going to post a, a verified list um, that Pat will do at some point um, against Bruce. Bruce did most of the work already, but she's just going to check it against our list, master list. And um, we'll post it on the website, and then we'll start announcing it at our select board meetings. Okay. That's good. Um, uh, did, okay. did you have anything? Well, I just wanted to mention that I, um, last Thursday the 1st, I went to the Small Town Summit. Oh, you again, did. Again, up in Charlemont. You know, and, I'm not uh, on that email. Oh, I'll get you on. No, yeah, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> no, it's. I yeah. mean, I go to enough meetings. I know so, you do, <laughs> so, <it's, laughs> so I can take one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it was. It was very good. It was great to, uh, you know, uh, finance committee members and select people from um, a lot of the surrounding areas uh, get together. You know, once a month, but we've been away from that for a couple of months. So it was good to get back together. And some of the issues we were working on and discussing were. Um, kind of legislative issues, possible remedies, things that we can do to, to help our small towns. Um, so we talked about school transportation, open meeting law, land uh, owned by the state. So a lot of pilot programs where yeah. you know, they own a ton of land in town and, and there's no tax base for them. Uh, and land under chapter 6161A. Uh, zip code issues. So some towns have zip code, like multiple zip codes. In the, it's hard. They get assessed in certain areas, so that was kind of an issue. Um, Short-term borrowing, um, repurposing of school buildings, which we've just done at Frontier, which was which was good. So, and then encouraging support of EMTs. Um, so there was a lot of lot of good in, a lot of good conversation. And then uh, I did not get to go because I I couldn't. But um, on Saturday. Um, Hampshire County, Hampshire Council of Governments had a Western Massachusetts le legislative summit um, down at the JFK Middle School and Stan Rosenberg and others were there. And so I, their office had called me to talk about small town summit stuff. So I've got to reach oh, back so, to them. So you did talk to Mary Jane. She, she left me a message. I left her a message. So we're perfect. playing phone tag right Cause, now. So. Um, Cause I, I, I told Pat, I said, I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Cause I'm not on the email list. So I'll get you on that. No, list no, too. no. That's, but I mean, I just to know, just if you can't make it, then, yeah. you know, I, I will try no, to make it's it great. because someone it's really good. should it come go. Cause I think it's really important. It is. You, it's good. To, you got to lobby stuff and Stick yeah. together because nobody listens to anybody in the Western Mass. Yeah, right. It's a single so town. You need to get. Yeah. I'll get together. And it, so I, it was good conversation. Really good. good. So that and I, and I will just put here that um, you'll get oh. back to Mary Jane. And the other thing I wanted to, th we, we mentioned this uh, last meeting, but I did also want to thank the um, the women's club for the deer <laughs> and the and all the lighting they've done on oh, the so town it common. Oh, it was the women's club that it, did it. Yeah, oh, so, how wonderful. Um, yeah, it's, I'll, I'll just read this briefly. Um, if you've driven by our town common recently, you'll notice a little herd of deer grazing on the still green grass, which is white now. Um, they seem to have made themselves at home under two brightly lit, lighted trees and garland uh, fountain. 
the town commons is lighted once again through the efforts of our um, our club's common good committee, which is the women's club, uh, which began a few years ago with major support from Bridget Heller and Jane Risley, uh, with plans to light the center of our town during the winter nights. Uh, we hope to encourage homeowners and businesses in our downtown to uh, place white lighted deer in their yards and on their properties too, with the goal of growing our winter herd over the years until our streets are filled with lighted deer, not only in the center, but throughout town. Help us spread the word about uh, putting um, the deer back in Deerfield and uh, making our community center a bright and cheerful place to be this winter. Um, that was submitted by Denise Schwartz. So I wanted well, to thank them all for yeah. how beautiful it looks in town. So well, what a nice idea though, too. Yeah. I think that's really cute. It's a great that's idea. wonderful. It's really yep. perky. Oh. Did you have anything, Kip? No. Oh, I did want to thank you um, and Brenda for, um, and I better put this down to thank you, for um, getting Dick's um, vehicle oh, yeah. switched out. That was really nice. Thank you to Brenda um, doing a supplemental warrant immediately so that, you know, two hours before the end of the day, Kip could run down and save us $3,500. Yep. So that was really nice. Deal. Thank you nice, for nice vehicle. Dick, uh, you know, Dedicating yourself to saving some money for but us. The, the money, the money was a gift to the town, anyways. I don't mm -hmm. know the people's name. Uh, uh, New England uh, Patient Network. New England yep. Patients, uh, but th those are folks that are going to uh, have the medical marijuana dispensary. Yep. yep. So I have to, I have to say that probably only in America can you buy a police cruiser with pot money, <laughs> and it be legal. It sure is. It's a great. <laughs> Great service to the town. Hey, yes, that was part of negotiating. I it was a, it was a, it was a, uh, for a what is it called? What do you call it? A public safety vehicle. Yes, yes, public safety, public safety yep. vehicle. Dick yep. uses it during the day, and, yep. and the police, the police use it at night. Yep. yep. So works all good. Um, it sure it's does. 24/7 vehicle. Yep. Um, but anyway, it was really, really nice because. Dick's vehicle was having some, starting some to have some problems. Yeah, it was an and issue. you saved us a lot of money by. When I drove it down there, it did sound like an airplane taking off. <laughs> I know. It, it was. It, it was, was time. It had. It definitely did have some issues, but yeah. yeah. No, well, the vehicle's nice. But you so saved us thirty-five hundred dollars by shopping around and doing it that day. And yep. Thanks for Brenda for sticking around. She stayed yep. around to make sure she did a supplemental warrant because we had missed our regular warrant. Yeah. Um, and it, it just all worked out well. It, so. it, yep. it was w really good teamwork, and so thank you very much. So um, i got to write that down. I'm going to scoot in the office for a second and pick up another pen. Yep. Okay. I should okay. probably mention, um, speaking of the common, we have an ad hoc committee together to look at revitalizing or freshening up the common, the sidewalks, that kind of thing. And we have had the Conway School of uh, Landscape and Architecture put together a plan. She's, I guess, going to present after the first of the year. It was supposed to be this coming Friday, but um, it was postponed until, I guess, the beginning of their uh, beginning of the year. So um, I was talking to Kevin Scarborough today about uh, different things that were going on in the common. The idea is to kind of get a group of people together to get a consistent plan on what's happening there because there's electrical work that has been done and kind of needs to get finished and sidewalks need to be a little safer and kind of maybe redone. And But we don't want to do stuff that's going to, I know with the sewer work that's coming in the next couple of years or uh, we don't want to go and do something that's then going to have to get dug up. So we need to have everybody involved and get a good plan together. So I'm, hopefully after we get a presentation on what their idea is at the end of their presentation, the beginning of the year, then we can, you know, get Kevin and Jane Trujillo has been working on it and, um, and uh, Diane Gripko and other, other people have been on this committee and uh, Joe Gorey has been involved. So if we can all get together and kind of put our heads together and um, just, one idea was to kind of mark that spare parking lot a little bit better so 
people coming through town can park there and either use the businesses downtown or stop at the common for if there's a like a you know i know we have band you know bands on there mm -hmm. in the summers and things like that to kind of maybe define that parking lot a little bit better and then um so we'll we'll get there you know it's going to take a little um, bit of time so do you have the i i think i i just actually i just moved the complete streets Yes. Report. It was on the table out there. Okay. I remember looking at. And, All uh, right. Yeah, so we'll, you do have it. Yes, I will look at that again and um, and then get the report from. Okay. What she's putting together, and we'll kind of okay. do a hybrid of that. So get something. Is done. that going to be presented to this board? Yes. Okay. I think it. Yeah. What we were going to do is kind of get a, get our group together and kind of figure out what's the best um, plan going forward, and then present it to to this board to see. You know, if we want to do anything at all or just kind of move in little steps at a time to well i mean I most wanna... of it is money driven and it is but if you have the ideas listed then you can do it by priority then, then you can prioritize but you can also keep your eyes open for money for grants that yeah. kind of thing i, mean, I know we've done a grants. lot of studies and you know yeah, still know. nothing has happened so we'd but love to get it this is kind of a small area of land it is to There's not a whole lot and can't. you know you shouldn't be doing too much what what's what's like, not what was pointed out in the complete streets kip is the which was to me the most important thing was the safety issue there is it to go from where the shops are like where daylily is and cross yep. the street to like joe gory's building yep. this is a huge it was a massive a massive area one to thought was to put a small island as a break yeah. between the two to there slow was, down traffic but again yeah. it's money and it disrupts you know the cabins when they're plowing because they load the mm -hmm. snow there so there's a lot of people and parking was another issue they wanted to kind of get rid of the parking expand expand things but that's not that's really not, what the town needs the and thing, i think yeah and it's keep here the parking. again it, i mean it is a common and i like it and everything like that right. but it doesn't you know, need to, to be to try to expand that for functions i think is not a good idea no we have plenty of other land it's not safe you know we have plenty of other land other, yeah other yep. spots well I mean, that's sort of what we were. Yeah, I mean, even to if you wanted to have a, a band concert or something like that. I mean, the ball field right behind the town hall is, is a good spot for that. You know? Yep, yep, yeah. exactly. Keeps everybody I, safe. And... I, I don't like us to do too many events there. I mean, mm -hmm. it's one thing to do Memorial Day because right, the, oh, right. the streets right. are close, relatively close down. They're clogged. Right. Yeah. And so if a kid runs out in the street, it's more safe know, to get it blocked off. You, you know, the chances are the person will be all right. But mm -hmm. honestly, if people, someone's whizzing through there and a yeah. child runs out in the street, how awful. It should I just mean, stay a common, not a park, yeah. just a yeah. common, and just yeah. have safe people to walk, you know, mm -hmm. so the sidewalks are clean and maybe a bench or two around the fountain, and that's, yeah. you know. I, I don't know. It just, we just have something. to, we have to try to figure out safety, mm -hmm. balance safety with snow plowing and budget and, budget all, and that. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but so. anyways, to keep the idea of keeping... Um, our eyes open for money yeah. to do what so that's really wonderful so we can get a mm -hmm. list right and that's and what priorities. I think that's one of the problems we've never had a list that everyone's agreed to and this is what it we're small do. enough that you could yeah. just go without disrupting the next right because a lot of stuff is you know you have leftover money or mm -hmm. so, there's money for this and money for that like the bike we had bike mm -hmm. racks you could do this and then you could paint a couple strips they would pay for that and right but you need to know where you're going to do it. Right. And so we this is... We get a plan is, together, yeah. present it, and yep. go from there. That's wonderful, Trevor. So that's that. Um, next, uh, we don't have any hearings or appearances this week. We're going to do um, our... Redo our uh, smoking... Raising the smoking age and um, prohibit flavored uh, nicotine products. And, next um, week? Yeah, next week. And, and also... Reduce. I think we only have now five active sellers in town permits. Mm -hmm. So we're going to reduce vote to reduce the cap from ten to eight. Yeah. Um, and we're going to do that next week. It's been reposted. I talked to Cheryl Sabaro today. She's. Um, I'm going to come in with to Pat and go over the fines. We can talk about it in our hearing. But I was just yeah. going to send everything down to Cheryl. She's the lawyer for the Mass um, Health Officers. Um, association and have her just review everything so that we know that it's 100% yeah. and, it, and it's free so right I mean it's no big deal to have them do that it, but right. that way we can just double check because mm -hmm. we knew last week the postings were wrong and all kinds right. of stuff so well, what, what did happen with the postings she, she the newspapers was the, were right 
they just the local oh, ones were. Were the postings right in the newspaper? Yes. Were they really? Yes. Because I thought well, I Pat thought it said was, Pat, it, there was Pat, nothing thought, posted out there. There was nothing posted out here, and Pat had g given us the old posting, which she said she is what she gave the newspapers, which was from 2013 when we, you know, that was when we. Oh. Um, well, when I was manned. in the office, she showed me some. She said this was it was posted right, but there was nothing there, so I didn't know if whose obligation it is, and that yeah. was one of the things I was a little concerned with. Is it starts in our office. And then she has to bring it to town clerks. Now, is it still our office responsibility to make sure it gets posted out there, or is it the clerk's office that's, you know, so? Well, if it's our hearing, yeah, she should take it to the town clerk, clerk. get it stamped, yeah. and get it over there. Post it. So it's our office's responsibility to get it up there. Okay. Well, I, well just, and then our stuff and our thing that we're reading was not right. Okay. So we we didn't have the correct confusing. reading, so okay. I um called Kelly Constantine from the, um, you know, the coalition group. And um, she sent me Shelburne's legal notice. So I just mm -hmm. had Pat, you know, put in the correct date and put our town in and where okay. Shelburne was. And, but I'll, I'll, I was gonna send that and all the regulations because um, the fines and everything yeah, down I'm to Cheryl just to review. Him. Yeah. Just so that we didn't have any mistakes again. Mm -hmm. And then it was, but I, the main reason why I wanted last week for us to just go through the whole rigmarole is that, so we could send out, so that we had a positive vote, mm -hmm. even though we have to go and revote it, that we could give good notice to the, the, the sellers that we do have, so, so that aware. they were not buying more stock. I did, and, and, speak and to we're one aware. Up, up, oh, okay. Up on the 116, and, and they're aware. Okay. It's coming. So. Oh, okay. I, it didn't seem to be any issues, but it was. I mean, to me, it was more polite to give them as early notice yeah. as possible. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. And and not invest in a lot of this yeah. stuff that we don't want them to sell anyway. Right. So um, that was why we carried through with it. Yep. And I'm glad you guys don't didn't have a problem with it. No. Nope. So anyway, that's what we're going to do next week. So um, the next thing on the agenda is um, we have to sign the sewer commitment and the sewer abatements. Um, apparently, this mm -hmm. is okay. the abatements right here. Um, you guys can look at them. I, uh, what it is is that um, for the winter rates, um, it, you know, they go over. You get... Um, you just you just pay the winter rates, and the, and if you use water in the summer, you get that rebated. You know, like out in your garden. So this is rebates pool. that they applied for for the summer. Yeah, rates. yeah. And this is a sewer commitment. Um, so it's it's two separate things that we vote the sewer commitment and we vote the abatement. So I just wanted you both to look at it. Um, I. Is this gallons? I believe so. And these are because this is this is money. That's money. Yeah. And these are all the people that filed for abatements. Well, um, versus how many people are actually? This is what we got to give back out of this amount. And and th these are all the all the people have actually asked for an abatement. Yeah. Apparently. Okay. I'm surprised that many people. Still don't. Uh, Hi, John. I guess so. This is a dollar amount. I don't understand it. But I'll learn next time. Um. Well, we need to vote it. So we, thank you for signing it. <laughs> but we'll vote it. I just um, wanted you to look at the abatements before we voted mm -hmm. it. So this times 125% equals this, and this is the difference between that and that, and that's the money that they would get back. I mean, we've we've always done the winter rates mm -hmm. um, for the summer. Times, winter times 1.5, 1. 1. yeah. 1.25. We stressed about it for, I don't know, back and forth for a few years, and that's what we came up with. And it seemed to be relatively fair. Because you'd be using it in your... 
gardens, gardens washing or your swimming, car, swimming pool, pool that whatever, kind of thing, and yeah. not down into the sewer. So it's up to the individuals to apply for that. Um, no, this is um, on, this is this automatic. automatic. Oh. Um, because otherwise, it's you know you're asking yeah. people to come in for thirty nine dollars. Yeah, for yeah. Li relatively little. Okay. Although some of them are pretty big. Yes, they are. They total that. I know. When you're done with that, I'd like to take. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was going to pass it to you. So. But see, these these have underground sprinklers. Okay. Oh, so right. That's where some of why there's substantial. These are the readings. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we've had in the past um, that discussion, like, mm -hmm. wow, that's a huge amount. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the addresses, those are the ones with the underground sprinklers. Yeah, that are on sewer, right? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh, we have to vote it. Oh. I was going to let Kip All look right. at it. That's good. <laughs> Although we signed this one first. So. Let me take a look at this. So. so you can look at that one. So the, the, the amount balanced. at the end is the amount of the money they get back? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, they originally get a bill. Yeah. And you have to pay the bill, and then you get uh, an abatement. They use a lot of water. Well, it's, I understand it's what for are sprinklers, yeah. but yeah. they must run it all the time. Well, that was one of the reasons we had. That's nearly a million gallons. <laughs> right. I'm trying to think. At my house, I used I use about thirty thousand gallons a year. So this is over. This is like. 25 years worth of water for me. It's pretty excessive, I know. <clears throat> in, wow. a, in a year of drought, but. Hmm. Wow. We can look at that. We can look at that in the future. Um, so I will take a motion to um, approve the abatements and the commitments as submitted. I make a motion to oh, I'm gonna write accept down. the abatements. <laughs> okay. Second. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, do you want to do that for the sewer commitment as well? Sure. I make a motion for the um, to accept the utility billing detailed commitment number one. I'll second it. Okay. Um, it's a uh, utility billing. One. Detailed commitment number one. Okay. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. So that's done. Um, did you sign this? I did. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Next item on the agenda is um, point new paramedic to SCEMS, okay. Teresa Emerson. She sounds really wonderful. Yeah, and, no, uh, she's with it. us now, right? Isn't she, or is she coming on full time? No, she's coming on full time. Right, but she was. Um, I think she was a per diem. That's what I did thought we, too. What did we get from the personnel board? Um, that grade three, step six, twenty-three dollars and twenty-four cents an hour was okay. Where, that's, did we get that from the personnel board? Um, they okayed it, as far as I know. I think I was there last night, and they they didn't. They didn't vote it. I don't believe they did because there there was a concern that they wanted to know why there were other people that have the same title that had different pays. I thought they were all starting at grade three, step six. No. Nope. So that's why I asked if we had a, had a written recommendation from the personnel board. Oh, my understanding. Their meeting was last night? Yeah. Did that's they say why they're anything? on the agenda today. They yeah, they were up? talking about it when I, because I was here uh, probably half hour, 40 minutes early for the planning board meeting, and I was there, I, I was talking to them about it, and there was a concern that, you know, we have several paramedics, and this one was above it, and they had no description of, of why, of, of, you know, or justification or qualifications, oh, just that. It, she was a, a, a nice person. So, <laughs> oh, no, no, my, no. my she's question really, is, she's well, excellent. when would the personnel board forward that information to us to review? I don't know. That's why I ask. Yeah, her. I'm oh, curious as well. Well, my, my understanding was that it went ahead and it was submitted because I, I absolutely made sure that Pat had forwarded on everything to Mary and Mary had the whole packet of information. So when, when does Mary normally report back? That yay or nay or I don't know. That's why I asked because that was a, a big beef of the, the board is you know us making it's a always move been without their recommendation. It always it been, always but is. But if, do they ever send a recommendation on to us? I'm trying to think of when. They, I mean, I think I've seen them before. I, I think so too. But I just don't know yeah. when in the yeah. process that happens. Well, I, like, I, I mean, they only had a meeting last night, so how would they have time to get it to us to? Well. That was supposed to be sent to us, oh. and it was you know, my understanding it was. I would have thought today. Yes. You know, a yay or a nay, but right. At least <sighs> some sort of information. Okay. To move forward. Well, so. I, we have to do this because it's costing us lots of money, um, not to have her on board, in overtime. So. Um, huh. And I promised Zach that we were going to vote this so that. He could get, get it. it on I know schedule. we've got. I know from the yeah. board of oversight meeting. This is very important she's, to get she's her on schedule. She's imminently qualified. I just oh, saw I, that. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. T um, I'm not saying that at all. I'm, she's I'm just trying employee. to, you know, Where did I work see within that? our bylaws and you know, right. the, the the people on the personnel board to get frustrated with this board uh, because we seem yes. to act, but. But if they're not putting stuff forward, forward. for us what to act we? on tonight, how are we supposed to know, know. what to do? I, exactly. And and honestly, they had the packets because I, I made sure Pat had them in Mary's. Um, well, I'm not saying that they didn't have it, but what what I was saying I the know. conversation that they were having while I was there was they had a, a, an issue with the the, the scale or the grade, grade and step. Compared to the other paramedics that, that were at grade and step with the same qualifications. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let me read his letter to us. Um, I just I just saw her. Thing. Yes, I, I did. Too. Uh, I'm trying to think of where. So I know the packet was available because I just I just had it. I don't know where it is now. I keep everything too. Here, just, this is just her. Yeah. Letter. The, to well, it's just a little letter from. But Zach, you said but there was another packet. Yeah, of her but info? I had the packet, so I saw it, um, and I know that she is. Um, there was justification. And that she was uh, by far the best choice. Mm -hmm. And um, everyone was excited that she was on, that she is accepted. Oh, 
We can't wait another month. This is disastrous. Well, um, can, how, how, do you, how can we go about approving it, but yet holding it until, you know, one well, of us could reach out to Mary tomorrow. I, I will. I, mean, I would call her now, but yeah. I don't have her phone number. I don't either. Um, what, what I can do is, um, I, I really want to vote this just because this is going to mess up their. Yeah, I know from the Board of Oversight meeting, it was very important to get this person yes. hired. And we've um, already delayed two months uh, getting right. the, because they didn't, they missed the one meeting and then the meeting was late and, late and, and didn't get there in time. And, Whatever. I mean, We've it was out of for, sync. I know, I know this person has months. been waiting two months to get approved by the personnel board, or at least to get a recommendation on to right. us. Yes. And here we are tonight without any information. Right. And that, I, so. I don't know. So I make a motion to um, do this, and I will follow up with the personnel committee um, that we appoint Teresa Emerson at grade step. A grade three, step six, $23.24 an hour. And we, I will make sure the packet gets to. Can, can uh, we have a joint meeting with the personnel board at some point? Well, we're going to. Um, because between now and when we go to repost our um, town mm -hmm. administrator, because we were going to take on the compensation right. schedule well, ourselves. And one of the things we're going to take on is every paramedic that we higher is not a step one right we have to go jump up exactly to step three at least just and to get them because they're marketable anywhere else at that rate right you can't start them so that was that line item i think what you were going to do the cdl driver kind of stuff and um oh. and we were going to do oh, the yeah. town administrator and right you know what, look at um, all this and what I was speaking to the personnel board about last night was that compensation plan, and, mm -hmm. and they were working on developing one with a, a spreadsheet. And you know, so they're trying to devise numbers and grades to fit what current people are currently making, and having room in our plan for growth. And and it makes sense that it it doesn't matter what what grade and step they are now. It's you know, like if like this person's a grade three, step six, it doesn't matter if her new classification is a grade two, step two. Right. It's a dollar amount that's important right now. But leave ourselves room, room to grow. Now, what the comment that you just made about, you know, them starting at a higher step and everything. Here again, I don't have a problem with whatever step you call it. It's the dollar amount, and the problem is trying to pigeonhole that position that everybody mm -hmm. comes in at this grade in this step People because have different skill they have a different skill or they might just be different but h how do you deal with the situation if you have a paramedic that's making $25 an hour then you hire another paramedic who you're going to pay $28 an hour it's almost like, hey wait a minute I've been here a year and you're going to pay her $3 an hour more than me Going right, to, there's got to be well, there's, performance there, values right. that you it, would it, then and, and, and also credentials, credentials. Credentials. Well, but yeah. all of them, to be a paramedic, you all have to have these basic creden uh, yeah, basic. credentials. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. So, That's true. so my, my point here is that, you know, if, if you have two people that have the same credentials, you need to pay them the same money. Right. Now, if they've been employed f with you for a while and they can show where they're worth more money then a reevaluation and, and a grade is important. Now, I don't mm -hmm. know that this is the case with this person, right. but if her reading her credentials on this piece of paper are no more than anybody that would have to be a paramedic, there's nothing up and above. Right. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Right away, we're doing what seems to happen all too often. You know, um, and we don't know, and we have to rely on. It. And if and, it, and if we have if no the, standard to look at, we don't do have we no remember? standard to look at. And we need some reason other than, you know, she's a great fit for this. And that, that's not a reason, you know. And, I totally understand. And, and, I, and, and I agree. I'll, I'm going to, I'll get a hold of Mary tomorrow and maybe she's listening now. But, you know, they, that communication has to happen pretty Thank quickly because, you know, now we, you know, I don't mind going forward with this. Right. But I also won't mind defending it if they say, well, you know, the select board does things without, 
you know, our input. Well, w I need the input. We need it. I need, I need it now. I, I, you know, I can't wait. Yeah. And it's been a, I know that they didn't get it for a while. Right. But that was right. so I'm wondering is like schedule of their meetings. And that's why I thought if we could have a joint meeting, we could really just hash out what what the planning board should be. I mean, the personnel board. Right. I would sure. learn what they should be doing. They would understand what we're doing. We'd have a standard process of sure. how this happens. So it's not two months when we need it. Right. EMT and we're paying a ton of overtime right. for two months instead of, you know, yep. and, and I don't know if that's the, the reason here or what the situation right. was well, here, but I know right. it's been a while the and, cupboard. you know, people were leaving and they didn't have a quorum and there was, you know, yep. holidays or however it right. works. Right. Uh, no fault of anybody's. We just right. want to get a standard right. process going. Well, what complicates it is that we're all three of us on the oversight board, so we know that this is a, coming. A serious need. Yeah, yeah, and it's been coming. And so... I, again, I don't want the personnel committee to think that we're just no, off no, not running at without anything. But this, this was discussed at the oversight meeting. This was a couple months ago. Right. This was. Right. I, I, I did honestly try to get this sorted out for t last night. So I, I'm, yeah. I can't believe they didn't have it. So I, I don't. I don't, know what, I don't know what their final decision was. Right, because you had left to your meeting. I was in the yeah. office there, well, and, and they may have one somewhere. Yeah, and we just oh, if we had it. I don't know. I, I have no Is idea why there's no... Should I just check our basket to be sure there's nothing sitting in there? Uh, well, if you want to, yeah. Uh, just double check. Okay. I mean, there's nothing in my box right now. Okay. In there. Okay. I, clean, I, took, I took everything twice today. Okay. So nothing came in that I hadn't already picked up. Is it? Oh, there's <laughs> nothing there? No. Okay. Well, I, all right, I, I second mean, your motion. All right. But I really would love to have them yes, together. And so I, I, and I, I can, don't I want don't, the personnel committee to be mad at us. And that's think that the whole being, goal is yeah. to work together and right. get a yeah, system this together. This is not to override them. This is just. We need to do something. We need to let Zach schedule her. So, um, I mean, she needs to commit to us. And, and I know she's been time. waiting to come. I know, but on 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 the same note, I I feel that if there's any repercussions because of this, with other people, I'm going to fall back on Zach and say, look, it, you know, it's your job to to screen this differently for us. Because there was a packet. There okay. was a packet. Okay, that's fine. Um, that was justifying this because okay. I actually saw something. So okay, that was more had more description. Um. I'm not saying that this isn't description, but there was, she's got other things that was why this was uh, important to get that rate. Okay. So if there's no more discussion. Nope. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, um, so I made the so motion. So you made it. I second. Okay. I'm taking responsibility. People can be mad at me. Um, well, I think, I, again, I think if they feel... Aye supported i mean that's the main thing is to have that that board feel supported in what they're doing and and i feel so that i can feel educated in what they're doing and yes and support and, them. It, and it is I, it is not their fault in no. the real world trying. we can't you know the world doesn't stop because things don't seem to get done so you know this has been sitting out there for a while yeah it has been okay um and oh so threes we all agree yes yes, yes. okay Three zero zero. I just want to make sure that this gets done, um, so that it doesn't mess up the scheduling for yep. the next pay period. Okay. Um, why Trevor's signing that? I do have a couple checks here that will go towards our. Um, that I picked up at the attorney's office yesterday when I delivered some paperwork, um, $65,000, um, and Trevor found $10,000 check, so there was $75,000 going to, for the Oxford Pickle property bond, and $84.50 taxes came in on that property. So, so that's all done? That's done. The as far the, as the I know, tab. I have not heard anything it's different. Tab, right? Yes, yep, I, right. I have not heard anything differently, so I'm assuming. Well, I'm happy. It. I'm happy for the new tenant. Yes, me you too. You put a lot into that building, and um, to make you know, it happen. Yes. 
I saw and, him at the and laundromat. And Gary Gerber was the very nice. And, and, uh, he wanted to know how come you weren't delivering it. And I said, well, because I kept you late. <laughs> and that you were already late for your thing. Um, so I said he has stuck with me. Um, actually, our meeting was supposed to be last, uh, is tomorrow night on December 7th, which is Pearl Harbor Day. And um, we moved it to tonight. So it's on the eve of Pearl Harbor Day. Uh, we had um, a generous offer by the Upper Pioneer Valley Veterans Services District to provide at about 16 cents cost to the town for the flag holder. So um, John Sis um, uh, came forward and said that um, we need to vote um, six gross in order to cover the 23 known burial sites, which is, includes all the cemeteries and individual sites around the town of Deerfield. And with a 75% cost, Trevor, um, I was thinking worked it out that it was like a 138 yeah so it's about 138 dollars for so, six gross of flags oh, yes gross. 100, uh, 144 144 yep so um, um uh what we would be voting tonight is um six to pay, to buy six gross um of flags flags 16 cents each about yeah. 16 yep. cents but the math by the time you get 75 percent reimbursement but we have yep. to get it to them by december 29th so um and then i think other people are allowed to um i was trying to understand the flag holder that we could get a bronze flag holder for i think from john's thing he said regarding flag holders medallions we are implementing a new procedure whereby uh we feel the need on a one-for-one -one basis uh, for recent burials by providing the um, Upper Pioneer Valley uh, veterans um, with uh, with a veterans mis uh, with a veterans military discharge documentation, we can secure bronze medallions at a cost of twenty dollars each. I continue to maintain a minor inventory to be used on a temporary basis. During May 2017, we will update cemetery records and replace any missing or stolen flag holders. So I'm not sure that if if uh, he's taking on that himself with um, them, he's, I think yeah he there. basically they have volunteered they've been to volunteering do that. yeah that. John is and we'll we'll fund the flags and yes great and so we have to vote they do such a great job yes absolutely so we just vote to um, support mm -hmm. the purchase okay um, and um, then we get billed yeah and and we'll get reimbursed and it okay. So it will roughly be about $138 yep. based on your calculations. So. so I'd make a motion to support that purchase of six gross of Veterans Day flags. I'll second the motion. Is there any further discussion? Nope. No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I, I, I just want to thank John Sizz mm -hmm. for um, getting back to us so immediately so that we could participate. Yeah. And I will have make sure that Pat forwards this on to... Um, Tim, um, before the deadline of December 29th. So um, let me just write this down. So this is going to be as recommended by John. So just, if there's any questions, we'll just have John as the contact person. Is that all right, you guys? Sure. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Um, is there, oh, so the reason why the review town comp schedule is because, you know, we had the failed review, mm -hmm. I mean, the failed search. And um, so I was thinking, um, I know it's really hard between now and Christmas, but I was thinking if we could um, do it sometime in, you know, right after Christmas, right yep. after January 1st, because I, I think we should do that before we send out another um, advertisement mm -hmm. for the oh, yeah. town administrator. Yeah. So if we're meeting, I mean, we could we could do this in a regular meeting. I was planning on the fourth, you know, I, again. You you have do you have school committees on the on the? Uh, I do on the fourth. I have a school committee meeting. Okay. 
So yep. we could meet Tuesday, the third. Would that yep. be okay? Sure. Okay, and okay. we could put that on the agenda for the sure. third. Do you want I to come in early that one for? for yeah. That, or what um, do you think? What, what would you like to do? I, I don't. Just, right now, there's nothing on the agenda. So. No. Um, you state the third have a planning board meeting. Oh, you do. Oh, you okay. do. Yeah. Uh, we'll do Thursday or Monday. Uh, well, how about Thursday then? Yep, Thursday the fifth. Yep. Thursday the fifth would be okay. Yep. Oh, jeez, Pat's gonna be mad. I Why? screwed this up. I already wrote on the. I'll get a new one. No, this is fine. <laughs> so um, I don't. Right now, there's nothing on the agenda, so I don't. I don't think we need to schedule it earlier. Okay. So let's right. just say six thirty. Okay. And um, if it looks like the agenda is starting to fill up, um, or we have a lot of issues that we need to discuss, if there's yeah. you know mess ups or something. Okay. Between now and next month, that we have to straighten out. Um, then we'll, we'll do earlier, but I think 6.30 at the moment sounds okay. Okay. Um, let me just, uh, January 5th instead of 4th. Yeah. So um, you all are okay with the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th? Uh, let's see, the, um, in January? Yeah. The eleventh I got down. I'm still working on December. Twenty fifth I got down. Well we don't have a meeting on the week of Christmas. Right. And you're thinking the eighteenth as well? Because we're going away what the nineteenth for the MMA conference. Okay, so let's see. Um last week um last week was a warrant. So the next warrant is the fourteenth. And then the 28th is a warrant night. Yeah. So the 11th is a warrant. So we can actually, because we're, we can get, we'll be um, having the, we could skip the 18th because the 11th is a warrant and Unless the 25th. Unless something comes up. Yeah. Do something. So well, let's, let's skip the 18th because we'll be meeting. Um, at MMA. At the MMA. We post the MMA because when we do breakfast, we do our budgets. Okay. Um, you know, we just we have breakfast together and do a budgets. At the meeting? Yeah. At the okay. And you know, we just sit around and talk budget. Talk budget. Fun. It's kind of boring. Anyone want to join us? <laughs> um, it's a way. You, I'm, I'm confused. So you mean here or in Boston? In Boston. In Boston. In Boston. Yeah. Just the three of us? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we go over the budget. We take the budget sheets with us, oh. and we look at them. I mean, usually we have them by then. Yeah. And we look From at, the different departments. Yeah, we look at this if there's any problems. We go through them. Okay. Because if we, if we have breakfast together yeah. for Friday, yep. Saturday, and Sunday, there's three breakfasts, and it's like an hour and a half breakfast. I, I, I don't know, Kip. It might That's a lot drive of you That's crazy, a lot of but... No, you don't eat an hour out. But you I don't, know. Yeah, I don't but eat much at all. What, the, the Sheridan, <laughs> and I usually eat standing up on my way out. So. <laughs> well, the Sheridan has, you a know, nice buffet. Uh, yeah, they have a buffet. Right. The, but what, no, what wait, they have is nice three days. Steak. Some plan on being there three days. It's, it's. Yeah. You think you can do the budgets in a couple of days? Then? Well, no. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thursday, is that supposed to be the Friday. reason for that? Well, Saturday. No, we just happen to do it because oh. because it's well, going on it. that. We always go. We check out on Sunday. Yeah, we always so go. It's Thursday, Friday, so we get up, Saturday. We meet. At the, the place opens at six, so we meet from six to seven thirty every morning. Thursday morning as no, well. No, no, no. no. Friday, 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 Saturday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. Because oh. that, we that way it's done. Days. It's. I mean, it saves us evening me meetings. Really? Yeah, Interesting. and it's done. Okay. I mean, it's then, then it's just we pass it on to the finance committee. Or we have people come back if we have questions. If you have any questions, you write down questions. Huh. If there's okay. problems, you write down problems. But the, by 3, 6 to 7.30, because the yeah. most of the meetings are at 8. Yeah. So you, if we meet at 6, we can be done by, I mean, we're done and can yeah. go to the meetings at 8. Yeah. It's a little tough because if you don't go to bed at mid till midnight sometimes, but. Oh, I fall asleep real early, so. Well, I'm always tired by the end, but. 
Yeah. We get a lot of work done. I'm sure. I'm and looking then forward if there's, to it. And if stuff comes up, like if people have questions that are in the budget, you have all your vendors and like right. sewer treatment stuff. Sure. Vendor people are there. And I mean, that's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. But, you know, yeah. we were, when we have to buy something and you, you it's in the budget, you can go get a quote right there. Right. Or if it's a quote in the budget, you can go out and get it sorted out too. Yeah. So. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, it, sometimes Good. it was hard to get everyone there at 6 o'clock. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Yeah? I was always I'll there. there. I'll be there. I get up early. <laughs> Drag I'm a, a good doobie and always there. But that will. Um, are you so? What night are you going out? You're going uh, out that morning, right? Or what uh, time does it start? Oh. Um, I I go out Thursday night, so. Okay. Because if you drive out. Because it does it, it starts on Friday then. It starts at okay, Friday. Okay, you go out. Just Friday and Saturday, right? Friday, Saturday, and then um, it goes late on Saturday, so yep. you just stay over on Saturday night. I mean, you can drive back, but we always. Yeah, yeah. We always Do the stay, stay over till Sunday, and then that we meet one last time yeah. if there's any issues. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, especially if you have to cut the budget or whatever. You know. I'll bring but, my scissors. <laughs> <sighs> well, I, I don't think this year is as bad. I mean, we had a couple of years ago. It was terrible. I can imagine. Oh man, it was awful. We had a, we had a deficit of like a couple hundred thousand dollars. So you are saying between now and in the next three weeks, we're going to get budget to things in from all the departments. We, yeah, they're I out sent already. out. I sent they're the memo. Yeah. I sent the memo out. Uh, Brenda sent it out for me, and um, they're all due the first week of January. Huh. So we don't have anybody to put our budget books together. So I'll probably, you know, be putting them together, and they won't look as pretty. But, well, first, but you can the, look the, at the, them. The first. Well, we got the binders, right? Yeah. Skip's got a bunch of binders. Yeah, here. I have, and I have the last two years, and it's still in the back of my third seat oh. in my car. Oh, good. So I, it's all ready to go. We just nice. add the, add the current one, nice. and then we can compare Great. the last couple of years of what's been cooling on. That's know. good. That's good. So, and I got notes from the, all those years. So, I mean, it just is easier just to get it done in yeah. one, one haul. Yeah, sounds good to me. It sounds well. No, it sounds gross, but <laughs> not it does not I'm sound. excited. I'm <laughs> excited. You have no idea how excited I am. Kip's excited too. Well, I don't want to say I'm excited, but I'm looking forward You're to anxious. it. It'll be, it will be a, an experience. I'm yeah. sure. I'll have a gazillion questions. Yep. Well, the thing is, if you have questions, and you have all the people there, all the MMA people, all the your resources. And you go and you get answers, and, right. you, and and that's what. Yeah, but my luck, I'm going to want to talk to that guy who there's 45 people in front of me who <laughs> need to talk to him. Well, I know. Sometimes you Take have to, but but like we were trying to figure out how to get money to do the sewer thing, and yep. and so we met sense. and went to classes and met again, and you know we just so you get your answers right there, and and and. and then, and, and it that. sort of solves it, and it, and then if you have questions, you can there. You have all your peers there. Yeah, right. You know, because um, sure, people have gone through this. Yeah, I mean, you have. So we can ask Ira. We can ask Ira. <sighs> yeah, we can ask Ira if he's talking he's, to us. Yes, he's talking. He's very nice. I spoke with him today. Good. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate it. So we're going to meet January 11th. Um, not the 18th at this point, and the January 25th. Yep. Okay, and that should give us the warrant and then, days. Uh, so we're, we're meeting on the fifth. Yep. And the eleventh. And the eleventh, which is a warrant. I will be, this. just for a heads up, in February I'll be gone the sixth through the ninth. Sixth through the ninth. Well, I've let's worry about that. Oh Miami. wait, here's the. Okay, so if we meet the twenty-fifth, we're meeting the first. Oh, we can. Um, this is okay. Going. So, what do we say? This is a warrant. This is a warrant. Uh, that's so, a warrant. so that's a warrant. So, okay. Um, so you're going to be gone mm -hmm. from the sixth through the what? The ninth. The I, ninth. I got to go to uh, Miami for Pella. Okay. Well, um, uh, that's a warrant. 
Okay. So what we can do is just um, we could meet the first, the mm -hmm. 15th, and the 22nd. Okay. And then um, just vote on the second to sign the warrant at our convenience. Yep. And um, you only knew two. Friday. No, no. Well, we only knew two signatures. Oh, good. Okay, so, good. So um, all right. Kip and I will just come in and sign, and we okay. just that will be the week we won't meet. All right. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, but we'll authorize ourselves to so sign the week before at our convenience. Okay. Okay. If that's yeah, all right. that's fine. I mean, you yep. can still look at it. Yeah. But th it's all processed by that's the time perfect. you get back on Friday. Right. So. Yep. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Um, okay. But we'll sort that out again. Yes. Just want to give it um, a little heads up. I, Okay, so um, I guess the next meeting is December 14th. No meeting on the week of Christmas, and then again on December 28th. Is that okay? Yep. yep. Okay. Um, I'll take a uh, motion to adjourn. adjourn. Yes. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Great, thanks. And it is six, oh, 35. Seven, seven oh, 7.35, what am I talking about? Or the real quick, I know, I know. We started I was just looking, I was just like, wow, that was really fast. Um, okay. Great. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.